so this is going to be my first tutorial. I'm here with my friend Gabby. She'll be in most of my videos. So this tutorial is going to be um, how to do a proficient handstand. So first what you'll need, if you're a beginner, especially if you're a beginner, you will want somebody here with you. Because if you fall and hurt yourself, because it's your, your first time doing handstand, so you probably will, then you want somebody with you. Another thing you want is a comfortable surface. We have this gymnastics pad. It's like, it's pretty thick. And it's comfortable. Foldable. If you're um, if you're not a beginner, then you obviously won't need this video. And the, once you get really good at this, you'll be able to do um, like hard surfaces and stuff. Um, and for your first time doing handstand, you might want a wall because that's going to help us today. Okay, so um, yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to tell you or show you how to warm up for this because if you don't warm up for doing a handstand you could hurt yourself or like pull a muscle or something. So one thing you are using a lot for handstands are your wrists. So put your wrists on the ground like hers and you can bend them backwards like that Sorry, and you can roll on them. If you put them facing forward just like roll on them and do them all positions you want. And then another one, you want to stretch your back because you're using your back and shoulders a lot. So you can go ahead and twist your back and roll your neck and then stretch your shoulders. Another really good way to stretch for a handstand is doing a bridge like that <laughs> and just coming down slowly. Okay. Okay, so before we show you how to do it, I'm just going to show you what it's going to look like. So this is the wall handstand. And a regular handstand. Of course, that was a mess example. But. Okay, so first you need to know how to do a handstand. So first, just start out in like a lunge and put your hands above your head. And then you want to come into a T, so you make a T with your body. And then as you move down, you kick up. So it looks kind of well, it looks kind of like this. And that wasn't a full handstand, but that was just how you start one. And then okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do a basic wall handstand. It's basically the same thing as doing a handstand. But you want to, when you're in the air, you want to push back more until you find the wall. But you want to do it with one for, foot first, just to see where the wall is. Um, and the reason you want to push back more is because you, you won't hit the wall until you feel it, obviously. And so you always want to push yourself back more. So you just start in the lunge, lunge with your hands up, and then you, like, go into the T with your hands down. So lunge, T, push off with one foot, and then feel them, and you can put your butt against it to make it more straight, but you don't have to, because it's a beginner trick, and so... You want to teach yourself slowly, you don't want to push yourself into it. Okay, so now that you know how to get up into the handstand, now I'm going to teach you a little bit more how to hold it and make it look good. So I'm just going to do it against the wall so I can talk. Okay, so what you want to do is push up through your like legs, making yourself feel really long, and point your toes and squeeze in your bum and squeeze your core. You should be looking kind of towards either behind you, so like this, or at the ground. But don't like stick your head out like this, like a weird person. So yeah, that's how to look good. So now I'm going to show you an example of a wall handstand and a regular handstand. So you want to get down the wall handstand first, and then you can go move on to the handstand. So here's the wall handstand. as long as you want, as long as they're not, there's not too much blood rushing, rushing to your head. And now here's a regular handstand. Okay, so another great way to improve the posture and look and balance of your handstand is to have a partner. So she's going to grab my legs when I'm in the handstand. Make sure they're not grabbing your legs when they're going up. So that will improve the way you can hold your legs up.
So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you a lot in doing your handstand. Um, there's a lot of people out there that don't know how to do one, and can't do one very good. So I thought we'd just help you. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.